Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Towards the top lane, uh, generally speaking probably just going to be farming towards level 6. Uh, uh, call me, don't die. He's getting reminded of just um, how uh, unfun it was last time around as there is the Jaws and he just gets solo killed. Man, I, I told him not to die. I even said. There's a few execute games and now Carrier. I think these are players that want to be going in and that's exactly what Carrier has just done. That play was actually risky because if Peter was ready for it, he could have interrupted the Abyssal dive. But you can see that just like no one on Nongshim expects a play like Whoa. that. Whoa, okay, Dundun and Zayas going aggressive. The all out comes through once again. And now Dundun throws another buckler. He needs to get onto the shield. Well, he doesn't really. Oh, the flash forward. Oh. He finds the kill and it's a solo kill for Dundun. Now he'll take a victory lap and head into the death chamber, but the damage has been done. I just can't understand this player game. I, uh, I think that you cannot not like this player. I swear to God, you just can't because he can have that game number one, and it just looks terrible as, okay, we've got a cease and desist coming through onto Faker here as Sylvie tanks the turret for way too long. He's just dead, and it's another one for one. You know, this feels like a bit of deja vu. Yeah, um, I was going to say, like, you need four people. I think you just have to accept you're going to have to give someone up uh, yeah. if you want to make it happen. And Zayas just very disrespectful, walks towards the wall. The ult does give him uh, oh, the enough power. the interruption. Yeah, it does look tense for Dundon after he takes that Q3. But just ends up getting the value of the buckler. And here the W used by Zayas means he stays on the Q. Yeah, you'll never see it. Can't do it. Yep. Ah, so it was, I don't think that would have affected the 1v1. Okay. But he was just letting him know that he does have the six. So not end of the world as we're going to check this out one more time, man. Like, Faker is just uh, playing extraordinarily well today, but Sylvie yeah, tanking uh, two turret shots with sub off. Uh, and Zayas yeah. going to realize that that's not going to work out. As, okay, Sylvie gets a bit of a oh, jump scare. No. Blocked, not able to get over the wall. Feared and dead. Faker's way is now 3-1. and one. Yeah, and it seems like Ono was a little bit upset with the outcome of the previous game. Wants to get some revenge. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I'm just, you know, I can't really place, like, I know the skins I like, which are like Halloween ones, but I can't place which Halloween. Um, I know that because I always regretted not getting the... Okay, never mind. Here is the uh, Season Assist into the flick back. And can Faker get a kill this time? The answer is no. This time, he's not close enough to the turret. So Sylvie is going to be able to help Colmy get himself in pretty consistently with the fact that his wave clear is really online. But you can see T1 also playing aggressively. Not going to find the Chains of Corruption, but it doesn't matter. The center just explodes. Ona tries to get into the back line, but Peter's there with the dredge line, and Chiwu is just raining arrows down onto T1. They're in the equalizer. the flash forward. The seismic shove, and Peter's landing hooks all over the place. Nongshim, they crush them. Oh, Nongshim just the best team in the LCK? I think they might be the best team in the... ...to Faker, and then flashes to get a triple knockup. That's so sick. Anyway, uh, Dundun and Zayas are now fighting as he just stands there. The steadfast <laughs> presence says absolutely not. You are going nowhere and the uh, Dawning Shadow doesn't do enough. It was just a stand of both of them just kind of posturing and the yeah. party won. <laughs> oh. And now another hook is going to land. And is it happening? I think it's just happening. Carrier thought that he was going aggressive, but instead he was going to his grave. Oh, never mind. Uh, he's Tom Kench. He just eats the great health, and he should be all right. Ona going to try and get himself out of there. Uh, Speaking of getting so out of there, cold. just didn't do quite enough damage. And OK, there's Paranoia. And now we're back to T1 finding, him, finding themselves Seven some four. picks. Although, Sylvie kind of here, but maybe he is just more food, as he does have to flash. Get out of the way, Vault Breaker. Oh, 700 gold shutdown, so... Aha. Uh -huh. Not great. Right, well, Nongshin still have, they still a, have a slight lead. gold lead. Oh, and um, Peter pressed R. That was cool. Okay. And Abyssal Dive going to come on through here. So Peter doesn't have flash. He's going to get gobbled up and spat at towards the turret. Does find himself a hook. And Jiwoo, just not enough damage to actually do too much there. As the health actually is going to go back. The shield is gone. On to Carrier, and Jiwoo just stands his ground, able to fire back. And now Weaver's Wall to come in. Oh, he's actually interrupted. Still, the turret is going to go down, but not before Faker gets in here. So, I mean, we saw the graphic. 
in uh, after the last game that they showed in on the space where uh, oh, oh bit of a hook connecting here gets knocked up as well as the paranoia comes in good flash from carrier to make the overcommit happen as cease and desist is going to be spell shielded by Ona beautifully and now Zayas he's looking for an all-out angle let's see if he can find one there as he pulls in the poppy and I don't think that Dindin's going to be able to survive well he will survive for a very long time but he is still dead and that kill goes over to Gumi Yushi T1 they the start of the fight I imagine no. Dindin was calling pretty early on like I will sacrifice myself just save yourselves as Abyssal Dive is going to land onto Jiwoo, taking a lot of damage there as well. Devour going to be used aggressively. Ona taken down extraordinarily low as... Oh, he spat out on top of the Nocturne! And he's able to get the arrow off, but still it's a double kill for Baker. Colmy is now trying to find the Seismic Shove, but he won't get a good hook from Peter though. But Carrier, can oh. he stay alive? Yes, he can, because he's Tom Kench. Hoppy he's practically in. immortal. And the Tongue Lash going to get the stun onto Peter. Is now Dundun, he's back in the battle. But there are just not enough teammates to keep X game and just walks at him, yeah. Okay, Colin can reset if needed. He has been in side lanes a lot. He's accrued yeah. a 40 CS event. Oh, the fear comes in and Sylvie, the unending despair, he flashes into the brush, will survive from oh my goodness! Very close to his fall. Oh, and no! a dotting shadow snipes him! No vision, no problem, and Gumiushi is going to get rid of the jungler, and that should mean two dragons apiece. I think that might have been the Horizon Focus vision. Oh, true! I mean, I'm not sure it was available right at the end, but I think it gave enough vision that uh, he knew where Sylvia had started recalling or close to it. All right, Faker gonna find the jaws what is on the Jiwoo, and there he goes! Ona launches underneath the turret and does not care about it. A Devour comes through onto Dundun. Kerry, I don't think, liked the taste of that, and is going to move himself back. Dundun pretty far. And now Peter looks for the hook angle, doesn't quite get it, and look at Faker. He's just standing back, raining hell down on Nongshim. Oh, There's the snipe! Oh. This champion is not okay, Ox. He just isn't. A hook is going to connect. It looks great from Peter, but I think oh, he might oh. just be dead. There's the double, the flash lick from Carrier. And that is the turret falling down as well. Sylvie not going to be able to do anything and even gets knocked up here as more. Lo of course, Faker has another ability for him. And he will be taken down. That's a kill going over to Zayas. And T1, they wipe Nongshim off the map and they're looking for Baron. On the back of Faker. No other way to spin it. No Oh, black and white, uh, like in, in grayscale? As I said. All right, um, I guess you just kill him. That's how you do it. Um, you will die, though, and Faker gets his 10th of the game. Uh, Sylvie's also in trouble. This might be 11th, as he's down extraordinarily low. There it is, 11 kills. And uh, T1, with their Baron in tow, are looking to try and break open the base. Where even was Faker throughout most of that? I feel like I, I, I know he was on the screen, so never mind. Balance, it's fine. As Ona does go in, very aggressively, and then Faker auto attacks That's the Varus and do. he dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and now, you know, I wouldn't have thought that. Yes, Zeus is basically immortal. I think that's just how it is. He's able to dash himself out of the way. He'll be all right as Peter is just tanking damage. Faker is just launching missiles, and there is just no response. They can't do anything about it. Dawning Shadow flies in. That's going to be the Q back. All out from Zayas. He's getting underneath this turret. Look at the damage! And T1, they do not allow Nongshim to win Game 3s. Yes, a casual Game 2 here and there. But Game 3, this is T1 territory. They're going to set to work on these Nexus turrets. And they now have their eyes set towards the Telecom War that's going to be coming up on Saturday. This one, I mean, there were some moments. And honestly, Nongshim had a great early game, but it was t all T1 from about 15 minutes onwards, and, uh, and it was just all Faker. Yep. I mean, this guy's way too good. A couple of fights in succession, but it felt like game two, game three, both games. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.